That is a lot of money. 34 nonillion plus another 26, 60 nonillion dollars. Plus 5,884 Slayer points. I think that's more than we've had in our entirety so far. And the best part of that is, look at all the upgrades we still don't have. These are still miles away from us, so we've got a lot more money to gain. So for right now, we're going to settle for 8% increased chance of spawning rubies. Golden gloves, which is going to make a huge difference to my coins per second. That boosted me by 15 septillion dollars a second. And for some reason, we want beta worms which may have just turned those worms into a devil. I'm not really sure what just happened. There's one beta worm, which still gives me slayer points. I'm going to activate my silver boxes and hopefully we get a huge multiplier out of those. Well, we got a horde and that's a pretty good start because that could be a lot of souls all by itself. And the third box has given me a frenzy, which I will take, especially with all those extra rubies, which by itself gave me 340 octillion dollars. And silver box number four, another frenzy. I'm a little disappointed, but I'm not going to complain. While I'm at it, I'm going to hopefully upgrade my gloves another 16 levels, which is very expensive to do, but that put me up to 54 septillion dollars a second. And then while we're at it, I'm going to upgrade my twin spirit because I think that can hit a new level, which turns it into the evil spirit for 300 septillion dollars. And I've just hit a nine coins per second, which puts me up to 400. 85 septillion dollars a second so i'm gonna take advantage of this and that by itself was enough to bring me back up to 8.2 no nillion dollars well now that we've earned all this and almost 6,000 slayer points it's time to prestige again but that should give me a pretty big bonus so we're gonna go from 22 and a half thousand all the way up to 43,000. So we almost doubled our extra bonus coins. That is a monstrous big leap and I can't wait to see what happens. Uh, so buying one level of this sword is going to get me an extra 1,230 coins per second. I've literally slayed one monster and it's been walking along like this and I already have $40,000. Every coin I pick up, well, it's just going to get ridiculous today. Put it that way. Considering this is almost going in real time and I haven't even used any of my Slayer upgrades yet, I've already have 100 and 200 million. And I haven't even bought these things yet, so they're there's 5 billion, there's 10 billion, and that number is only going to get bigger and bigger. There's 100 billion, there's 1 trillion. So I feel like we're going to make some pretty quick progress today. I'll take one spell book. That's going to put me up to 18 trillion dollars a second. And then we're going to add a spirit and then we're going to pick up eight coins and then we're going to buy the necklace as soon as we can afford it. Should only be a moment. Necklace has been bought about six quintillion dollars a second so far. But I also have 6,129 Slayer points to spend and I need to figure out the best way to do that. I'm kind of thinking minion. Unlock the minions tab where you can send your minions on missions. That's only $1,200, so I'll take it. Because if I can have minions doing work for me, well, that sounds just great. And while I'm figuring out the minions thing, I've already made $2.56 trillion, dollars, so uh, periodically I'm gonna jump back to the menu to just upgrade stuff. So I've unlocked the White Knight. It's a daily bonus. I can send him on a mission for 10 Slayer points. My reward is one Slayer point, if I'm understanding that correctly. I'm not sure. Off he goes. Oh, I see. The daily bonus knocks time off of his mission. So I just hit that and he cut three hours off, so now I get his reward. That's an achievement. The achievement was probably the more, most worthwhile part of that. Uh, we're going to send him on another mission. That's going to take him about three hours to do. But once he comes back, we're going to get two Slayer points. I imagine that number is going to get big over time. Next, I'm going to buy this quintuple the value of normal coins random event. Uh, that's only 350 Slayer points. That's an easy choice. Uh, speaking of coins, here's a frenzy. So what I'm going to do before I pick up too many of these is upgrade my necklace to its max level. Whoops, that way I can get the most out of these coins. And I'm going to do that a few times. So I brought the necklace up to level 92, which definitely unlocked some new upgrades. Then I'm also going to go backwards and max buy things along the way because these will unlock me new and different upgrades themselves. And those are going to be very helpful. Just for things like the magnets and especially just a different look of stuff. And we got a horde coming up, so I definitely need to get through all this stuff. But never mind. We're going to have to deal with the horde. But we did also just hit one septillion dollars and I've been here for like five minutes. And we got an achievement for 25,000 creatures slayed. Anyways, what was I doing? Buying unlimited upgrades for all of my gear. Here. Right now, I mostly just want to get my Divine Necklace to level 100. That way, it's going to give me double the coins for $156 trillion, which is only going to take one more second. Just got to pick up basically anything. Perfect. Now, I've still got 4,559 Slayer points to spend. And I think we're going to spend 1,200 of those unlocking the Mystic Valley Dimension. Hopefully, I'm able to go there with my portal, but I'm not really sure where it's going to take me next time. And then before spending anything else on some of these fun-looking upgrades, I'm going to see if this portal does take us to the Mystic Valley after dealing with nine times coins per second for a minute because this is going to get us some of the big upgrades as we just unlocked gloves too so i need to pick up as many coins as i can it's pretty crazy because it still takes me a minute to save up enough for the gloves despite all of my bonuses that i have so far 
but that'll do it. There's the gloves, there's big money. But once I have unlocked the gloves, money comes very easy because they make so much money. Uh, we want to do this right now also because that's just really easy money. Bonus stage. And that, of course, does freeze my coins per second bonus, so all of my bonus rewards are multiplied by nine. And the final flurry of this bonus is going to get me a lot of coins. That's almost 100 octillion right there, which is probably enough to buy a few more of the upgrades. But in a game like this, you can never really have too much money or make too much. There's always more to go. At this point, I hardly know where to start with like what I should be upgrading. So I'm going to stick to gloves for now because once those hit level 50, we'll really be making some money. Also when we can afford the upgrade because it's pretty expensive. So let's add another 6% coins per second. Uh, another bonus level. I don't really want to do this, but I do want the coins out of it. So we're just going to power through it. My bonus is complete. I have two no nil dollars left over because I bought a few upgrades but we're making 41.3 septillion dollars a second already and I haven't even done anything like bought more reinforced gloves that's going to bring me up to 52 septillion dollars per second and here's an equipment boost so I have 544 percent extra CPS for 335 septillion dollars a second and right in time for a horde so this should be worth tons of money almost three no million dollars once again I think it's time for a change of scenery let's hit our portal and see exactly where it's going to try and take us I may or may not accept this frozen fields we can go to the frozen fields for now Mostly just because one of my challenges right now is kill 2,000 yetis. And there's definitely lots of yetis here, so I'm going to enjoy murdering those for a few hours. That means we can give ourselves another 4% coins per second bonus, 54 septillion dollars per second, and then figure out also what to spend our remaining 3,400 soul points on. Right now, I'm kind of leaning towards an extra 10% bonus CPS for 1,600 of them. I simply need more money right now, so I think that's going to be the way to go. That puts me up to about 60 septillion dollars a second. And then suddenly we're running out of money because things are getting expensive. But I think we're just going to buy this that comes out of Mystic Valley, which we don't have yet. But hopefully we'll be headed there next. Basically, I can kill ghosts. And here's a 16 times coins value multiplier. And I'm also going to use the silver boxes, hoping those overlap in a big way. Though the 16 times coin value is only going to last another 14 seconds. So really hope I can get a really quick uh, frenzy out of those. Or I could also just find absolutely no uh, loot boxes anywhere along the way that's fine too i might be finally going crazy but i'm not finding any boxes at all suddenly like i haven't seen any in 60 90 seconds and that's a long time to wait never mind the game was listening here's the frenzy i needed uh, about 90 seconds ago but i'll take it now because this is still going to be lots of money and here's 18 times coins per second for two and a half minutes so that's going to be a big one for me and here's a frenzy on top of that i kind of hit it with the boost accidentally but this is going to be worth a fortune there's nine million million dollars what i'm going to do is buy the upgraded gloves because that's going to get me uh, a lot of extra coins by itself and then we're also going to buy a ruby sweeper because that's going to make a bunch of extra ruby spawn which is going to pay for itself in like 30 seconds at this rate that's so much money that it's almost a joke so we finished all that with 4.5 no million dollars uh plus another 10 no million out of the bonus so now we're starting to get into the big money once again and our coins per second is at a record 1.6 octillion 1.6 octillion coins per second. And we're a tenth of the way there in our Yeti genocide. So after the bonus multiplier runs out, we're down to 26.4 no million dollars, but we're making 90 septillion dollars a second. And you might think that would be enough to buy like a whole bunch of upgrades, but really at this point, we're still a little ways away from whatever's next. But here's a nine times coins bonus for another two and a half minutes. So the bonuses are really coming our way today. While we're starting this, I'm just gonna max buy my gloves to another 18 levels, which is gonna put me up to 1.03 octillion dollars a second. And would you look Look at that, here's another frenzy. Okay, two frenzies in a row. Won't complain with that. We still have a minute and 20 left on our nine times coins bonus. I'm going to try and speed rush through this because I think I get extra coins if I am using my boost at the same time. It just makes everything a little bit harder to grab. Well, whatever the case, there's uh, 15 no million dollars. Uh, and I think I just got that dual randomness thing because I just got two blocks back to back and I've never seen that before. It wasn't great that time, but that could definitely be worthwhile. And I think it's about time after we get this to bring everything up into the octillions of dollars for upgrades. Maybe even higher depending because we've got a lot of money to burn today. Mostly just because I'm looking for upgrades here I've never had before that will hopefully get me an achievement, which will get me more money. Like this is going to cost 200 uh, octillion dollars didn't get me an achievement, probably because we've had it before. And apparently whatever I'm doing is working because I'm up to 115 septillion dollars a second, just from upgrading all this old crap. And here's another nine times coins bonus, which once again temporarily puts me over one octillion dollars a second, which is a lot. Plus a 4% bonus per equipment level, so we got a 1200% boost right now, so we're making 13.4 octillion dollars a second, which also makes me think I should be upgrading more of my gear per level, because that should get us a bigger boost. Now is when it would be a really great time to hit the bonus stage, because it would freeze both of those bonuses while I did the entire thing. That would be worth 
Nonillions, if not whatever is bigger than a Nonillion. I got an achievement for 100 Nonillions, and I just spent a fortune on my boots, which unlocked for me Hyper Boost. Well, it unlocked the ability to unlock it for another 5 Nonillion dollars, which is probably worth it. So now I'm 20% quicker and also glow purple. Here's dual randomness again, so... I get those, which equals about one nonillion dollars. If those are back-to-back -back like multipliers, that would be great. I think next what I really want to do is try and get these gloves all the way up to level 100 because that'll double, uh, oh, I got another dual thing plus a nine times bonus. But if I can get those gloves to the next upgrade, uh, I'll make a ton of money. Oh, there's an extra 1100% on top of the nine times bonus. I better get moving. So I'm also going to buy as many gloves as I can. There's another 12 levels, seven more to go. But 15 octillion dollars a second for the next two, one minute. And opening one box right now just gave me 36 nonillion dollars by itself. That was a very good box. That's already afforded me two extra levels for the gloves. I only need five more. Plus whatever that disaster is actually going to cost to upgrade, which is probably going to be like a decillion, but we'll figure that out when we get there. So the double bonus has expired and that leaves me another one level, two levels for the gloves. Only three more to go, which is going to be about 100 nonillion dollars, which sounds like a lot. And that's because it is a lot. Well, since I have a little bit of money to save up, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit this button and let things run just like this for a little while. Then I'll come back and see what happened. A few minutes later, we're up to 133 nonillion dollars. So that should be enough for my final three levels for the next set of gloves. Then we'll figure out how expensive they are. I've got three nonillion dollars left over, but nice gloves. And the next level would be dragon gloves. And those are only going to cost 499 nonillion dollars. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. While I was slowly waiting and grinding up money, I've got an 18 times CPS bonus for another three minutes still, plus a 1200 and 16% CPS bonus of my gear, which gives me a base rate of 33.9 octillion dollars a second. That's definitely the highest earnings I've ever had, so for the next 35 seconds, I need to take advantage. I can't believe I missed that. That would have been so much easy money for me, but I just mistimed that jump. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty frustrating. But at least with all of these bonuses, that got me up to almost 400 nonillion dollars, so we can almost afford the new gloves. That actually went a lot quicker than I thought it would. And there we are, 504 nonillion dollars, plus the Vegas flashing, so that means my Yeti side is complete. 2,000 Yetis, Young Yetis Murdered, which is actually pretty good, because now for only one septillion dollars, we get a 10% bonus to my CPS. That puts me up to 157 septillion dollars per second. But what we're really mostly after are the dragon gloves for 499 nonillion dollars. That's going to take us up 157 to 209 septillion dollars a second. That is a 33% increase. So that's fun. That's a lot of money per second. But we have a lot of money to save up still. And we just got another bonus for 9 times coins plus 1216 for my equipment. That means we're currently getting 25 octillion dollars per second. And we've saved up almost another 100 nonillion again already. So this is definitely going up pretty quick. And strangely, there's a 20 times soul boost on top of that. So I have three separate boosts going all at the same time. The souls one I don't really care about right now, but it helps. And after all that, there's a frenzy. The frenzy won't be as worth as much as the multipliers, but we've still got 183 nonillion dollars to spend. And in total now, we've accumulated 1.27 decillion coins and almost 100,000 physical coins collected. I bet I get a nice achievement at that point. And there's a dual box. But I'm also kind of curious what a level 500 sword looks like. I don't think we've ever gotten there before because it cost tons of money to hit level 500, even with the basic sword. So let's find out. We still got 100 nonillion dollars, but there's Supreme Sword, also known as the God Sword. Your sword now gives 100% more coins, which doesn't mean much. It does cost 15 nonillion dollars, which... I guess we'll spend, it's very hard to justify that. But when you've got this kind of money, you don't have to care. Even buying one more level there is going to cost 13.3 nonillion dollars. But the axe is probably going to do more for me, because that's one that does boost the souls. And we can afford another 50 levels, so why wouldn't we? And the next one is called the crystal axe, and it looks not great. But it only costs one nonillion dollars at that point, so what have I got to lose? I seem to have found my way into a 23 times coin value bonus. And look at all those rubies. This last run of coins is going to be worth 57 nonillion dollars I'll buy itself. And that brings us all the way back up to 233 no million dollars and almost 1,000 Slayer points again. Thus we're at 99,824 coins and we have a frenzy. So this is actually going to put us pretty close to 100,000 coins. In fact, we're going to get there. Coin Master. We did get an achievement for that. Now we're making 212 septillion dollars per second. I think the craziest part of this is despite the fact that I have this much money, I can only buy three more levels of gloves if I spend it all. And there's another nine times coins per second bonus. We're going to combine that with an extra 4% bonus CPS with a beautiful muffin. 
that's gonna bring me up to 1.99 octillion dollars a second for as long as this bonus lasts. Okay, on top of that bonus now, which got extended, we also have 2000% CPS bonus. Uh, so we're at 42 octillion dollars a second. So that's definitely the most that I've ever made. Every time I pick up coins, my number goes up. And that's insane because that is a really big number. And I just extended the one bonus again. Even nine times coins per second doesn't seem as exciting now without the other one. But we made 462 no million dollars again. So now that we've pushed back into new record territory money-wise, I think it makes sense to give us a 5% souls bonus. That costed most of my money, but I'm not too worried about that. Mostly because this beautiful idiot is finally ready to return. Two whole points. And I have to ascend to claim the points. Well, that's okay. Back he goes on another mission. But this time he's going to get me three. And that's a lot because I've only made 1,200 while I've been playing all these hours. 